guys and welcome back to our channel today we're going to do a very simple project and we're going to use my 3.25 millimeter crochet hook and a cotton yarn so let's get started make your slip knot and make a chain of 28 So now we have our foundation chain of 28. We are going to make one single crochet on the second chain from the hook. So this will be a single crochet row. Single crochet until the last chain. So do your one single crochet until the last stitch and I'll meet you later before we move up on the second row. So I have done my single crochet row and now to move up chain one. Our chain one will not count as a stitch and we're going to make our first single crochet on the very first chain. On the second chain we're going to use the back loop only. I prefer to use both loops for the first and the last chain. So this will be again a single crochet row but we're going to use of our back loop. So this will be our repeat. Repeat row 2, the single crochet back loop only until you have 14 rows. So I have done my 14 rows. And I saw my ends already. And this time we're going to fold it in half. Fold again this side. Fold again the other side. And this will be our bow tie. If you want, you can sew in this one, this uh, middle part. And for the strap, for this one, I just uh, make a chain of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I made a chain of 10, 10 chains and 3 rows. But it's up to you how wide you want your... This will be the one that will bind the middle part. Then you just need to sew in at the back. But before you saw in this one, I made, this will be for the neck part. I just uh, make a chain of 100. And then I, uh, this is a half double crochet uh, row. Then I half double crochet on the fourth chain from the hook. And then this one is a half double crochet, chain one, skip one chain. So this will be the button adjustment. So this will be for the first one, second, and the third one. And then we're just going to add our button on the other side. So we're just going to assemble this one. We're going to take our yarn needle and do our assembly. Before tying in, make sure that uh, you are on the middle part. You might have the other one bigger and the other one smaller. Please make sure your strap is facing down. Right side 
is facing down so that when we are going to use it, the right side will be facing outside. Put that one in the middle and then we're ready to sew in our strap. Our strap is about forty three centimeters. Our strap is about forty three centimeters. So if you're going to make this for someone, let's say for your brother or for your for your son, then they, you can measure your their uh, neck. Take the measurement and then make your foundation chain based on your measurements. And then you can adjust, make sure the buttons, I have here my buttons and it will fit my buttonhole. So just saw in your button, having a ample space this is for adjustment purposes and you're ready So now we are done. Please check the description down below. I will put the pattern for the strap for the middle one and for the neck strap as well. So again, thank you so much for joining me today. This is a very short video and a very cute one. So quick to do. Thank you for uh, joining me today. Happy crocheting everyone and God bless!